Now let us just uh, discuss that what are the significance of the of some properties. For example, let's have a look at the low boiling point. Now why it should have low boiling point? Boiling point means the boiling temperature. Now the boiling temperature of the refrigerant at the atmospheric pressure should be low as we have mentioned because if the boiling point or the boiling temperature of the refrigerant is high at atmospheric pressure the compressor would have to be operated at a very high vacuum okay so the high boiling temperature reduces the capacity in operating cost of the system okay so this means you should have a very low boiling point it should boil off at a comparatively low pressure then you come to freezing point the freezing temperature of a refrigerant should be well below the operating evaporated temperature okay so it should be somewhere around minus 35 degrees celsius to minus 40 degrees celsius it should be very very low okay it should or as a thumb rule it should be below the temperature the temperature at which uh, your evaporator is working okay now the next is your high latent heat of vaporization now what is uh, latent heat latent heat is that heat which is used up when there is a phase change of a substance okay so a refrigerant should have high latent heat of vaporization at the evaporator temperature because the refrigerant is changing phase when it is going into the evaporator y uh, you are sending in liquid you are sending in liquid the, the, the refrigerant enters the evaporator in completely liquid state it absorbs heat from the surroundings of the evaporator and then it vaporizes and becomes gas or in gaseous form before it enters the compressor this means it should have high latent heat of vaporization at the temperature of evaporator because in you know what happens because of this it uh, the more heat it can absorb it will create more cooling in the evaporator okay and if uh, the latent heat cap the latent heat capacity of vaporization is high this means it is absorbing more heat thereby creating more cooling this means we can flow or we can circulate you know a reduced amount of refrigerant inside the system for the same cooling effect okay so it actually is quite economical to have a high latent heat of vaporization for a given refrigerant okay to have more cooling and to have less amount of uh, refrigerant flowing in the system okay so this is uh, what you what you should uh, get out of it now yes so these are some common uh, properties that you should uh, you know remember